My name is Dr. Maria Giroux and I'm an obstetrics and gynecology resident at the University of Saskatchewan. The OBGYN Academy has created a series of resources that we would like to share with you. In this video, we're going to talk about signs and symptoms of coronavirus. Everybody needs to self-monitor. When you're self-monitoring, it means that you don't have any symptoms, but you're looking for any signs or symptoms of coronavirus. So how do you take oral temperature? The first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you haven't eaten anything and you haven't drank anything in about 10 to 15 minutes. The next thing that you do is you take your thermometer, you take it out of the case, and you want to make sure that the tip of the thermometer is clean. So since the last time this thermometer was used, you want to make sure that it has been washed with soap and water. The next thing you do is you turn it on and you're going to see some numbers and then you put it under the tongue and gently close your mouth and wait for the thermometer to beep. And this may, may take a little bit of time. So once this thermometer beeps, you take it out of the mouth and you take a look at the numbers. So in this case, my temperature today is 36.7 degrees Celsius, so I don't have any fever. The next thing you do is before you put this back into the case, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you wash the tip of the thermometer with soap and warm water and you want to make sure you wash your hands and then you put it back into the case. It is important to keep track of your temperature and some people uh, write their temperature down on a piece of paper, other people use a chart. So how does coronavirus present? What we know is that the time from when the person gets exposed to the time that the person develops symptoms can be anywhere between 2 and 14 days. So it can take up to 2 weeks for the symptoms to show themselves. 80% of people will have a mild illness and 20% of people will have severe illness. The most common symptoms are fever and cough. 83 to 100% of people will have fever with temperature of greater than 38 degrees Celsius. 59 to 82% of people have cough, and 34% of people bring up sputum, so they have a wet cough. It is not very common to get runny nose or to get a sore throat. Only about 14% of people get sore throat. The virus that causes a common cold is a part of the coronavirus family, but it's a different virus than the COVID-19. So they belong to the same family, they're just different viruses. Um, and the runny nose and sore throat and headache is more common with a common cold rather than coronavirus. The headache is present in about 7-8% to 8 of people. 38% of people get tired or feel tired, they get fatigue, weakness, just general feeling of being unwell. Severe symptoms include chest pain, shortness of breath, about 19% of people, uh, confusion. So. If that happens, it is very important to seek medical care. It is quite uncommon to have GI duct symptoms, like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Diarrhea is only present in about 2-10% to of people. COVID-19 uh, can have quite significant complications. Some of these complications would include having severe pneumonia, having uh, lung failure, having something called ARDS, which is acute respiratory distress syndrome, which is basically a generalized inflammation of the lungs that can then lead for lungs to fail and for somebody to need a machine or mechanical ventilation to help the person breathe. It can also, some of the other complications are um, septic shock, um, kidney failure, um, and issues with blood clotting. So uh, issues with blood not being able to clot properly. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the difference between self-isolation versus self-monitoring.